And Abraham realized the truth. What? The true God is the Lord Most High, the one who created the universe and all that is in it. He is high above that. Allahu Akbar. Allah the greatest. The Lord Most High. La ilaha illallah. There is only one true God. Again, so much misinformation. Like we said, the thing that we do on the hotconflict.com website is change the misinformation that is out there about Islam. Muslims believe in the one true God. There are so many people out there trying to convince you that Muslims believe in the moon God and that Allah is the moon God. That is utter nonsense. And as the story I'm telling you of Abraham is clear, we don't believe in the stars or the moon or the sun. God is God. Glory and majestic is the Lord, the light, the nur. How dare you suggest any of the ludicrous concepts of the creation? God created the universe and all of the races and all of the stars and all of the moons. He's God. The capital G-O-D if you want to go that way, right? How can else I explain it to you? That's what Muslims believe. La ilaha illallah. The statement that we're screaming out loud all the time. There's only one God. But let's go back to the story because people always get confused. So now Abraham is there and there's people who think that there's all these multiple gods and Ibrahim figures out the truth of what? God is the one God most high. He can't be seen. He is above that. You don't see him in this world. Ibrahim was cool. He asked God to show him some stuff. He, you know, asked questions and got answers. But he was a true believer. And that is how come you hear the description in the Quran of Ibrahim being what? The pillar. Solid. Why? Because he knew that that's it. I believe in God. And from this day on, it's my mission to make sure that this planet is never again going to be confused by any, any of the false gods or alien races or anything else. By God, I swear, from this moment on, it will be my goal to make worshiping the Lord Most High Supreme on this planet. And that is my mission. And he realized the truth. Oh, peace and blessings and mercy of God be upon Ibrahim. Abraham, our father. And so we know the story and how it goes. And like I said, in the past stories and all the tests of the prophets were always what? To remind you that this test is always going to be difficult and it's always going to be hardest in your own family. So Ibrahim, the most upright believer on the planet Earth, when everyone else is pagan, must confront the pagan worship. And here's a case where we have Adam having a problem with his one son and Noah having a problem with his son. Here we have Ibrahim coming and finding that his father is the leader of the pagan worshippers. I mean, what kind of a situation could that be? He finds out the truth and at the same time realizing the total majestic knowledge of the truth, but that his own father is the one who is the most deceived by the chins. Ah, can you imagine that? And so the beauty of the faith is clear. Ibrahim takes and destroys the statues and to show the people the obvious ludicrousy of their stupidity in the belief in these statues and false gods. Things went badly. And we know very clearly that Abraham's people weren't willing to accept his message. And they threw him in the fire. Ah, but just like we know in modern times, this world is just a, a creation of God. Right? No matter what the supernatural powers that the creatures or the alien races have from the other side, Nothing is more powerful than the Lord. The Lord uh, and the miracles that he gave to the true prophets were always amazing in their miracles, right? And so Ibrahim, what? Was thrown into the fire. But for Allah, 
Fire doesn't have to be hot. It's just a thing. Allah made it. Allah made everything that is in this universe and everything the way it is. And if Allah wants with a be so it is, He can change any of the facts. There is no uh, scientific laws or maxims that must be true for God. SubhanAllah! Praise be to Allah! The Most High. How dare you conceive that God couldn't do this? And this is the point of understanding the parts of the story where you have true prophets who gain the truth from the Lord. Ibrahim didn't burn, but he knew that his message wouldn't work there. And so he left. <sighs> he tried to do many things, and like I said, we're going to try and condense this story and not tell you everything because it's a lot to handle and as you can see it's uh, emotionally draining for me again i'm doing this all in one night on eid just on my thoughts after eid but we get to a very fundamental point in the development of the story of the battle of our race and those who believe in the true lord most high and the other races and the misguidance of shaitan we get to a very important fundamental. Ibrahim, the pillar of the faith, had just been through a very traumatic experience uh, with his father. But he knew as his goal to be the pillar of the faith on this planet from now on, to make sure that the race of humans never gets misguided again into falling for any of the lies that the alien races or the jinns or the interdimensional beings are going to make us believe about creation and the myth and the existence of other worlds and powers, Ibrahim knew that his mission had to be established. And how do you do that? How do you establish it? He asked for what Adam asked and what other prophets ask for and the only way to make this work is to remember who you are and that is the children of Adam and the oath that you swore as a descendant, as the DNA, as the enlightened race, as modern uh, ufologists will, will confirm that so many of the alien races come here because they know that we are the superior race. And so Ibrahim knew what? The only way to win the battle was to have children and create a pious family unit. The same method in the chain of the prophets before and the same thing that our father Adam told us. Ah, beautiful. He had realized the truth. He had realized the truth that you have a mission here on earth. Remember to get connected to the chain of the truth and figure out what was the deal that we are at war with the other races and that our mission was to remember that there is only one God and that they are doing their very best to deceive us. And they have deceived some and some they will never deceive as Allah has promised as he told Adam and promised uh, Lucifer on that original day. And so Ibrahim, more than anything else, wants what? To establish the faith on the earth to make sure that he sets up the worship of the Lord Most High and sets it down so that it never is lost from the earth again because he knows we cannot afford to lose the war to the alien races and we cannot afford to be deceived by Lucifer, right? The leader of the Dracos, the Ifrit, the large interdimensional being, the superior of the other races, the horn, ridge-headed, shape-shifting, long-tailed, royal, powerful, interdimensional being is at a war with us, and we can never lose that war, so the truth must be established. But the test is always hard. 
because Ibrahim is not having any children. He's not having any children. 